Hey, what's going on dudes? It's Joey. Um, so... I've got to clean my room. Um, we're in my room right now as you can see. Look at that green screen. The green screen I never used. Woo! So yeah, if you guys saw on the vlog, uh, on the main channel, uh, then you'd know that, uh, I'm moving to Japan. And like, by the time I'm recording this video, like roughly like a week from now, so... I've got to do a few things. First of all, I've got to fucking clean this shit up. Someone took my monitor too. Not not someone, like my, my friend. I didn't, I didn't get fucking stolen or anything. Like <laughs> With consent, someone took my monitor. But before I clean all of this up, uh, I have to clean this up. All my manga. Not just here, but also over there as well. You see that? Yeah, so i got to clean all that up, and I've got to put them into these cardboard boxes. Yeah. I just gotta, I just gotta put these cardboard boxes together first. But I thought, you know, since um, you guys have been asking quite a bit, I thought I would actually share my manga collection uh, with you guys before it goes into storage. Um, obviously, this isn't the like my actual like manga collection. Like I've got, you know, I've got quite a bit in Japan as well. And uh, I will, unfortunately, I won't be able to take a lot of these to Japan. Um, but the good thing is I can get Japan really cheap, uh, get Japan really cheap, get manga really cheap in Japan. So, it's gonna be really easy to just buy all of them again. I might take some of them though, because there are a few, uh, that are like quite my favorite. But anyway, um, so I'm gonna show you guys my manga collection, uh, before they go in, and then, uh, yeah, so people can stop asking me about my manga collection. I mean, I love you guys, but... <laughs> Alright, let's, well first of all, I gotta put these uh, cardboard boxes together and then I'll probably move them out into the living room because it's much brighter there and this, and this fucking light is horrible, so. <laughs> Thanks, Tiger. So, I've made some cardboard boxes. I don't think it's gonna, I don't think two boxes are gonna be enough, but um, I'm gonna go to my room take all of the manga out of my room because, again, the lighting in there is terrible, and then show you it before I pack it away. So, here we go. Hey, could you get your ass out of the light? <laughs> could you get your ass out of the shot? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Could you get your... <laughs> oh my god. I swear to god, dog, if you knock over this pile, I will kill you. So I uh, had to quickly make another box because... Uh... Fuck, dude. I didn't realize I had so many until I laid them all out, but holy shit. Here you go. This is what my... my manga collection looks like. I haven't actually counted how many there are, but I'm guessing there's probably... 300? 400 books here? Mind you, this is actually half of what I originally had because... I had like a bunch of like Dragon Ball and like... Um, a lot of stuff from like Koro Koro because... Um, I gave it to a family friend of ours. Yeah, and he's like growing up and he's like a Japanese kid So I'm just like yo, I'm moving Take my shit Except keep this shit because I like this shit, but uh, yeah I'm gonna show you guys what's in this pile exactly <laughs> so, oh, Jesus Christ, I might have to make that other box because I, I don't know if three boxes are gonna fit all this shit in but uh Yeah, strap yourselves in for a long video. So let's begin at the closest pile right here what do we have? We got... Oh! Yeah! Konjiki no Gashu Beru. Yeah! Oh, dude, I love this... I love this manga, dude. I mean, I'm sure you've seen this character before. Um, but yeah, he's, uh... The art style is, like, really interesting. And, uh... I think there was a game based off this, or the other way around? I'm not too sure. No, no, no. This is the original, and there was a game that was created off of this. Yeah, but this show is... Dude. This show is like classic Shonen Sunday stuff, man. I might actually want to read it. I actually want to read this before I put it in the box. I almost got all of them too. I think I got up to like 22 from what I can see. Yeah, I got up to 22 volumes here and I think altogether there was like 
like just under 30. So I got really close to like completing this as well because I really got into this back in high school. Yeah, but um, Konjiki no Gashu is like, I don't know, it's, it's, it's like magic, it's uh, dude, look at the badass art, man, like, damn. It's so fucking cool. I love this. I love this manga so much. So if you're into like Shonen Sunday stuff, like uh, just like your regular Shonen manga, then uh, I suggest you give this one a go. I don't remember if there was an anime for this. If, if there is an anime, then I haven't seen it, but the manga is really good. So goodbye, Zach Bell. I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna buy all 30 volumes of you when I get to Japan. What do we have next? We have, ah, good old Gintama. Fucking love this. How many volumes of this do I have? 21! 21 volumes. So just almost almost as many volumes of Zack Bell as I do Gintama. Although Gintama right now is like 60 volumes or something. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. But I think it's about to end as well, which is pretty sad. Because this is probably one of the funniest fucking manga series I've ever read. I'm, I'm sure by now, uh, at this stage, it's like it's it's super famous. I mean, I think like the third season is the highest rated series on Mal, I think. Yeah, so I'm really glad actually that people are starting to appreciate this manga a lot because dude, I've been following this manga ever since it was, uh, like while it was serializing in Shonen Jump, man. This one, this, sh so funny. It's one of the few manga where I just, I actually laughed out loud. It's not often manga makes me laugh out loud, but this, this series made me laugh out loud, man. So don't worry, Gintama. You, you gave me the laughs, but you're gonna give me the laughs in Japan as well. Goodbye. Next up we got... Higurashi! Hey, everyone's favorite fucked up manga series. Um, wait, which one was the most fucked up one? Oh yes, this one, the Watanagashi Hen. I'm sure this one is pretty famous because of Mio, Mio. Or is it Shion? Ooh, that's the magic. That's the mystery. No, there's no magic involved. What am I saying? So the interesting thing with the Shigurashi manga, if you guys don't know, is that each uh, arc of the story, uh, when it came to the manga, was written by different artists. So the Watanagashi hand, which is this one, is drawn by Hojo Yutori, which I think, who was one of the best artists, I believe, uh, concerning the Shigurashi uh, manga. But uh, like the first one, the Onikakushi hand here, is written by uh, Suzuragi Karin. So as you can see, Two different art styles, but they both actually work really, really well. And uh, what ones do I have? So I have two from the Onikakushi Han. There is two from the Watanagashi Han, which this is my favorite arc, by the way. There's two from the Himatsubushi Han, and I think this artist actually, uh, I can't pronounce his name, but he, I believe, is the same artist who did Doubt and Judge, which is in this pile somewhere, which I'll get to later on down the track. But I believe if the name serves me correctly. And like the art style is, if you've read Doubt as well, like it's pretty reminiscent of Doubt and Judge. So, um, yeah. So I believe it's the same artist. We have two parts from the Tatari Goroshi Han, which is done by another artist. This is done by Suzuki Jiro. And then I also have four parts that make up the Meakashi Han, which uh, is the beginning of Higurashi no Nakoro ni Kai, which is technically season two if you're looking at it from the anime side. I was, I was quite into the manga, man. This is, this is pretty fucking scary. Especially the fucking Watanagashi hen, dude. Like the second arc, it's Hojo Yutori, dude, is like one of the just creepiest, like, artists. Like, fuck, let me see if I can find something. Like, I know you guys can't read this, so it's not really spoilers, but look at this shit. This, like, to me, this, this, this is fucking terrifying. It still is terrifying. Look how scary that shit is. And then you flip over to the next page, it's like, yep. Jump scare. Ah! Thank you for all the scares, Higurashi. I'm, I'm probably gonna rebuy you when I go to Japan, so you will be missed. Ooh, this is a manga series actually that I don't think many people really know. It's from Shonen Ma Magazine, uh, but this one's a really old one. It's called Chameleon. Um, I actually got this from an uncle, uh, or an uncle-like figure. He's a he's a close friend of my mom's, but like I've known him like all my life. And uh, he just happened to have like the first, like two or three volumes of it. Yeah, the first two volumes of it. I have one, two, four, five, and six. I don't know where three went. I don't, I don't even remember if I have three. But yeah, this is like a delinquent manga, quite old, I believe. I'm just trying to see when it was made. 1990. Yeah, this was made back in 1990. So the art style is quite, uh, it's quite 
uh, I don't want to say, what's, it's not premature, but it's like very, it's very 90s. As you can see, the character designs are very 90s, but this is like, it's funny, but it's also like, it can also get quite serious as well. And uh, I don't know, I just really like these like old 90s manga. I guess it's because I kind of grew up reading these, so yeah. I mean, if you ever want to give, like, if you ever want to, like, explore any manga of any kind and, like, you're kind of gotten bored of, like, the current manga, then I definitely recommend this one. This one is pretty good. This is another one that I got from the same uncle. It's called Shura no Kizuna. Um, for some reason, it's volume 15, so I couldn't really read this because it's volume 15. But from what I've seen, it looks like this is a uh, sumo manga. Um, I don't know, was this the one that recently got turned into an anime? I don't quite remember. But I did read a little bit of this, and even from Volume 15, like, the art style is, like, very... It's quite, uh, like, as you can see, it's quite minimalistic. Um, it's pretty badass from what I saw, so... I might check the first volume of this out and see what it's like, but, uh, yeah. I, I actually, I actually really quite like this, like, just, you know, very simplistic art style. Ooh, dead ass. And we got right here... Ooh, Beelzebub. Yeah, another Shonen Jump manga. Um, I'm sure everyone knows this, right? You know, everyone, everyone's seen the green motherfucker right here, the green baby, the baby demons. Yeah. So I got ten volumes of this because actually this first volume actually I borrowed from a friend, and it looks like I never gave it back. Sorry. And so I enjoyed the first volume, and so I got up to the volume ten because I think it was only up to volume ten when. Uh, it was still serializing, so I got this quite a while ago because I believe the Beelzebub manga ended quite a while ago. But yeah, there's an anime series for this, and the manga series is just as good, so it's like funny and com comedic, but it can also get quite serious as well. And uh, oh, I remember, I remember that character. Fuck, I don't remember her name, but she's fucking hot. Yeah. Rest in pepperonis. Oh man, this is another classic Shonen Jump manga that's ended quite a while ago. Kateko Hitman Reborn. Yeah. Does anyone remember this stuff, man? This this manga was the shit when it first came out, dude. Oh, it's so good. It's weird because uh, this uh, Reborn is a lot like uh, Dragon Ball, the original Dragon Ball series, which, again, I used to have, but I gave it to my family friend. I, I had like the first 30 volumes of Dragon Ball, but um, Reborn is a lot like Dragon Ball, the manga, that um, Dragon Ball started off as a comedy series and then later turned into the Z Saga, which is what it's more famous for. It's more famous for being the, you know, a, a forever screaming 30 chapter fights. Well, Reborn kind of started like that too. Like the first, like I'd say five or six volumes was completely more of a co comedic, uh, it was a, more of a comedy manga than anything. It was, it was totally comedy. Yeah. And then it later grew on to be the very action-oriented manga that it was. I'm probably gonna buy all of Reborn when I go to Japan, actually. I actually really like the Reborn series, so, um... Oddly enough, I've never seen the uh, actual anime. Man, I wish those birds would shut up. But yeah, the Reborn series is really good. Um, I definitely recommend it both... Uh, well, I, I can't really recommend the anime, because... Did I watch the... No, I did watch the anime. Yeah, I did. What am I, what am I saying? No, I did... I remember. I, do, I did watch the anime a long time ago. Maybe I should re-watch it, actually, because I don't remember a whole lot of it. But I definitely recommend the manga for people who've never read the manga, so... Rest in pepperonis. We gotta keep the fucking junk comic manga trending, man. It's Bleach. Yay, everyone's favorite. Not gonna lie though, this series is my absolute favorite. Like out of like the 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 big four out of like One Piece and Naruto and like Fairy Tale and all that, dude. Bleach was the shit when it first came out, especially the manga. Like, don't forget about the whole Aizen arc thing because I think I've gotten the I think I've got the manga all the way up to the Aizen arc because which is chapter uh, volume fifteen. I think? I don't remember. Actually, maybe not, because Volume 12 has Aizen at the front, so... I'm guessing it's like right at the beginning of the Aizen It's before the Aizen art got shit. Dude, the original Bleach series was fucking awesome. I wish it just- they just kept it like, you know, back in the old days because... Dude, it's Bleach. Like, it's- it's so fucking cool. I- I don't know, man. Like... It's so cool. I love the Bleach, man. I'm, I'm definitely rebuying Bleach when I move, so rest in pepperonis, Bleach! Wow, here's another jump manga that I've actually got all four volumes of, and that's Waku Waku. Now, probably not many people know this one because it never turned into an anime or anything, it just stayed as a manga, but I actually really, really like the art style to this. Um, I mean, check it out. It's like, I don't know, it's very, like, early 2000s jump. Um, completely, like, I don't know, it's a, it's a really weird manga to describe. It's like, it's kind of like if you took Guren Lagan, but like, added just, like, that shit. 
Like, what the fuck? Not a spoiler, by the way. This is, like, page 10 of the first chapter, so... Yeah. Um, I definitely recommend Waku Waku. Uh, it's quite short. It's, it only went for four volumes, so I've got all four of those. I might just take this to Japan, actually, because I remember this was very hard to find. Um, especially, like, the last two volumes, man. Like, these two volumes are fucking... They were impossible to find for, like, a cheap price. Um... But yeah, I might just take these, actually, because I really liked Waka Waka, so... I recommend it for people who want to try something a little different. I'd be quite happy if this turned into an anime, just saying, so... Get on it. Here's two volumes of Bigot the Ichke, which is... Turned into an anime as well. And, uh, it, it was originally, as you can see, a four-panel manga, or Yonkoma manga. And it's fucking hilarious. It's... It's a... Sex jokes galore. Not gonna lie. Yamato is pretty fucking hot. Just saying. She's just fucking hot. I mean, she's 15, yeah, but she's she's hot, alright? Rest in pepperonis. We got three volumes of Holic. Now, a lot of people think it's XXX Holic because there's the three X's there, but nope. It's just Holic. And good old Clamp with their amazing art style. It's just, I don't know, man. It's just like, it's it's simple and yet it's beautiful. I don't know. Like, you gotta, you, you can't hate Clamp, man. They've done so many awesome things. Like, look at that shit. Dude. Oh, such a good-looking manga. Again, I've only got the first three volumes, but I'm probably gonna rebuy maybe all of the Holic stuff when I move. So, rest in pepperonis. Now, this series right here is Billy Bat, which is done by Urasawa Naoki, who is the same person who did series like 20th Century Boys and Monster. And, I mean, come on, it's it's Urasawa Naoki. Like, he's a fucking genius. And this, this series, although very strange, I mean, it's hard to say strange because almost all Urasawa Naoki manga are strange. I've only got the first two volumes, but this is the one that uh, my friend actually recommended to me from Japan. And he was like, dude, you like Urasawa Naoki? Fucking read his new uh, series. This was new when I first got these, actually. This is the shit. I've only got two volumes, but I really, I have been for a very long time wanting to read the rest. So, rest in pepperonis. We got one right here called All Summer Game, which is based off, or King's Game, which I have talked about in the past on like a very old top 10, I believe. And uh, yeah, it's a horror manga, as you can see. Like, look at that. It gets pretty fucking intense. Ew, gross, yeah, yeah. It's weird because I have the first five volumes of the actual series and then only volume one of the second series. Uh, look at that girl. It's pretty fucking hot if I do say so myself. I'm gonna buy the rest of you and finish you off. Rest in paper roadies. Here's another manga series that I've recommended in the past, Psycho. Now this one is really fucked up. Here you go, here's how graphic this shit gets. Like, look at that. Gross. But the full title of this series is MPD Psycho, like Multiple Personality Disorder Psycho, because it deals with multiple personalities and it's like a whodunit kind of series. So it's multiple personality whodunit with ultra violence. Yay, eyeball. I actually got my mum into these, and these books as well are really heavy, like for their weight. Like this right here is only five volumes, but it feels like I'm holding like. 20 right now. It's because, I don't know, it's just like, it's like a hard soft cover. It's really hard to describe, but I've only got the first five volumes, but I'm getting the rest of that shit when I move, so. Thanks, MPD Psycho, for giving me endless nightmares. Here's the first three volumes of Suzumiya Haruhi no Yutsu, the Melancholy of Suzumiya Haruhi. Now, I personally prefer the light novel series, but the manga series is also quite freaking good, and it actually follows the original light novel series to the T. Although the art style is, again, quite different. Uh, this art style, acts, it actually, it actually kind of works. I really like it. It's, I mean, it's Melancholy Suzumi Haruhi. I mean, if you haven't seen it, then I recommend I recommend the movie, especially the disappearance of Suzumi Haruhi. That shit is amazing. But, mind you, it is the fourth volume of the chronology, so I suggest uh, watching the two anime series first and then going to watch the movie. It'll be definitely worth it. Uh, season 2 sucked, but the movie was awesome, and the manga is pretty good as well, so I recommend it. Yeah, ow. Hey, welcome to that random jump cut. It's actually the next day now because my camera ran out of battery, but we gotta get through this, so I'll make it quick, okay? Let's do it. 10 volumes of Sket Dance. If you've seen this, then I'm sure you'll know how good it is. I actually read it the other day, just because I wanted to refresh it. Um, if you guys don't know, the author, Shinohara Kenta, used to be an assistant for Sorachi Hideaki, who is the author of Gintama, hence the reason why the style is very similar. I got 10 volumes of this, but I have actually finished the entire manga series. It's just, I left the rest of it in Japan, so that's where, I'm, that's where it's gonna go. 
Rest in pepperonis. For some reason, I've only got one volume of City Hunter and it's volume seven. Although I have actually read City Hunter before, but this is just a classic, classic jump magazine. Like, look at the, look at the art style. It's like very 90s. As I, as I call it, I guess. Yeah, I will buy the rest of you, City Hunter. Don't you worry. All right, we got 10 volumes of Ftariechi, which is a, a, a good manga. It's an educational manga about sex. I'm not, I'm not joking. Read it and check it out for yourself. Like, my friend actually bought the first volume for me, like, as a joke. Because um, he's like, oh, you don't know anything about sex. You should read up on it. And so... It was like, uh, yeah, thanks, you bastard. But then I actually just kind of got hooked into the story and ended up buying 10 volumes of this shit. <laughs> so, I mean, it's a, it's a good story, I'm just saying. It's, it's a nice, light-hearted story involving all the sex education that you could ever need, so... I want to take you with me, but not this time. Wow, I filled up an entire box already. Well, don't forget the second box. We got four volumes of Suicide Island, which is a manga series that I talked about in a few episodes. I need to see this as like a fucking movie or... Actually, this will be... If done right, this could be a really good live action movie. Um, yeah, it's, it's really cool. It's like a great human drama and I'd probably watch this if it was an anime series as well. I got my mom into this series actually. This is, this is a really like good story. Really good human drama. So I gotta try and find the rest of Suicide Island when I go. So don't worry though, you will be found. We also got two volumes of Saishu Heiki Kanojo or final, I don't remember what the English title of it is. And I've left all the manga titles by the way in the description if you're interested in any of them as they come out in order. So. Um, I've got volume 3 somewhere as well in this pile, should be just lying around somewhere, but yeah, this is a great series as well, like very, uh, very simplistic art style, it's great, it's a great story, great story, so yeah, rest in pepperonis. Here's another just weird oddity, I've got volume 30, 31 and 32 of Detective Conan, because this was another one that my friends just gave me. He's just like, I've got all this manga. A lot of these, it's like, I've got all this manga that I don't really read anymore, so I'll just give it to you. This was back when I was like 10 or something, so. I mean, I have read like the first like four or five volumes of Detective Conan, and then kind of just skipped to 30, 31, 32. So there's like a lot of like recurring characters in here that I'm not quite sure who it is, but it's still great. It's still great. Actually, I think this is the volume that uh, uh, Kaito Kid came out in, so yeah, it's great. So, Detective Conan, classic. We've also got three volumes of Negima Nio, which is the spin-off to Negima, which is a, which is a proper manga. Uh, I don't remember if I showed it to you or not. I've got way too much manga, guys. Trust me. Just stop. But yeah, this is cool. I, I also got this from a friend of mine, and actually, I actually got hooked quite a bit on it. I wish these crows would shut the fuck up. The Rest of pepperonis. Alright, we've got a bunch of one-shot mangas, which I'm going to quickly just go over. We've got the first volume of Liar Game, another great series. Uh, if you liked, like, games, uh, if you like games, if you like manga like Death Note, then I recommend Liar Game. This is a great story. we got an old-school Sean and Sunday manga called Meh, or Ma, Meh. we got this guy who looks like a fucking warrior. Wario. No, it's actually a good story. I recommend it. we also got the OG, an American football manga, No Huddle. So, this was before fucking... Uh, I Shield 21, which is what most people, c you know, connect uh, American football manga to. No Huddle was the first one, man, from Short End Magazine. This is a great, this is a great story, so I recommend it. We also got this interesting human drama mystery one called Kurosagi, um, or The Black Swindler, I guess it's called. Yeah, according to the back here, The Black Swindler. So, uh, yeah, this one's really cool. Another great, like, crime uh, drama, human drama kind of series. So, a little bit of horror involved as well. So, yeah, this one's great. Speaking of horror, we got the first volume of Kiganjima which is just fucking creepy, or Higanjima rather. Did I say Kiganjima? Higanjima, yeah. Um, this is quite a long running series actually, and I really actually got interested from volume one. Uh, so I've been meaning to read the rest of it, so I probably will when I go to Japan. Most people know about the J-drama, but this is the original manga for Bloody Monday. I've only got volume one though, because the rest of the volumes is my friends fucking took and never gave it back, the bastards. Again, if you love your uh, Death Note-esque uh, style manga, then Bloody Monday is a must, must, must read. I'm still waiting for this to be a fucking anime though, because it'd be awesome. This is just a ruthless little one that I just happened to find one day in a bookstore and I fell in love with, Tokyo Akazuki, or Tokyo Riding Hood. Um, this manga is pretty fucked up. I can't actually show you the insides of it because I might get a community guideline strike. 
yeah, go figure. But yeah, if you love your like grotesque, like eroguro, like horror, then uh, I definitely recommend you give this one a try. All of your wrestling pepperonis. First three volumes of Neon Genesis Evangelion manga, which is I think just as good as the anime. So if you loved your anime, which I do, you better go fucking check this out. Of course, there's more after volume three. I just haven't. Ooh, look at Ayanami Day. So hot. We've got the first volume of Spriggan, which is another manga that my friend gave to me and is actually is actually pretty good. I really like this manga. Um, I'm probably going to go buy the rest of it because I was pleasantly surprised with how good this manga was. We've got the first three volumes of Hana no Keiji, which is another uh, Hara Tetsu, which is the author of uh, Fist of the North Star. He did a one about a Japanese, uh, I think this is the Sengoku period, so the... 1600s, 1500s, somewhere, somewhere around there, I believe. I'm not too fond of this series because, uh, again, I just got this from a friend of mine. But the art style's fucking dope. So yeah, if you like your, if you love your Hara Tetsuo manga, then you got to check this one out. Okay, this is a manga series that I really fell in love with. Uh, it's called Asura or Ashura. Yeah, uh, I guess it's called. You know, like the mythical, uh, the god, the demigod, Ashura. Um, but this is a one called Dengen Densetsu Asura. Uh, written by Kikuchi Toshio. I actually tried to look this up on my anime list, but it looks like it's not even on my anime list. So this is some fucking seriously uh, like underground like this is some seriously underground manga. It seems that not even my anime list has uh, has registered it from what I saw. But uh, this is a great manga. Uh, lots of action, pretty fucking violent. Like 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 really violent. Um, like old school violent, you know? So, yeah. If you're not into the gore kind of stuff, then uh, I say skip over this one. But I might actually take this to Japan because this was actually very hard to find. I don't remember where I got this from, but uh, just some collector's item, dude, because not even my anime list has this shit. Oh my god, it's everybody's favorite Naruto! Yeah, I got the first two volumes of Naruto. Again, my friend bought this for me after knowing that I'm not a big fan of Naruto. But to be fair, the first couple of volumes of Naruto are pretty good, so. Yeah, rest in pepperonis. Now this is what we call a fucking awesome classic, Yu Yu Hakusho. Yeah, you, everyone knows Hunter Hunter. I know it as Yu Yu Hakusho because this is the OG shit, man. This is this is the this is, this is the golden time of Togashi, bro. As much as I love Tokyo Ghoul and uh, Hunter Hunter, uh, well not Tokyo Ghoul actually, that's just a theory. But you know, I, as much as I love Hunter Hunter, man. Yu Yu Hakusho is where it's at for me. This is my fucking childhood, dude. So, if you've never read uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, even the anime was good as well, like the 70 episode anime. But if you've never read Yu Yu Hakusho, man, dude, you need to. And if you, especially if you love Hunter x Hunter, you've got to read Yu Yu Hakusho, man, because this is, this is when Togashi was glimmering. Speaking of another childhood manga that everybody should read, it's Slam Dunk, which is, in my opinion, one of the best sports manga ever written, and probably, and to be fair, probably one of the best manga ever written, in my opinion, because this shit, when I read this in high school for the first time, not high, like, like, junior high school, I got so, like, everybody was reading this, all my friends were reading this, all my Japanese friends, all my Japanese friends were reading this, all of my Japanese friends, including myself, got into basketball because of this god of, an, of a manga, man. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I'm definitely, I've only got the two first two volumes because uh, I've actually already read all of the manga at a friend's place. I just wanted to buy the first two volumes because it's so good. But I'm definitely buying all of the manga uh, for Slam Dunk because it's just... Nostalgia is real, boys. Here's another nostalgic manga for me, Ichigo 100%. This is, I was actually... I actually really got into this while it was serializing in Jump Magazine. Again, I've only got the first three volumes, but I've, I have actually read all of them. Uh, I'm probably gonna get all this, actually, because this is a great, great uh, rom-com series. So you gotta, you gotta read this shit, man. It's, it's back in the golden, golden age of uh, Jump, as I like to call it. So, uh, yeah. Another classic from the golden age of Jump is Eyes. Uh, not many people actually know this one, but uh, it, this one was, again, very, very influential rom-com series. And I just love the art style, dude. It's like realistic, but like, it's really cute at the same time. And this story is just, it's so adorable. I love this, so um, yeah, definitely, you gotta definitely, if you love your like rom-coms, man, you gotta give eyes a go. Oh my god, this one's a big stack, what's this? Oh yeah, 28 whole volumes of Gah. Maho Sensei Negima. Oh yeah! You guys know Love Hina, right? Well, this was done by the same author, Akamatsu Ken, and this... I'm, I'm sure you've seen like this image before, right? He's the uh, the little kid. He becomes he's a wizard and he becomes a teacher at a high school, and then they go on this like crazy, crazy adventure. 
But yeah, this one, it starts off really light-hearted and then gets like fucking battle heavy, like most of these long-running series. As much as I love Love Hina, I actually preferred Negima as a, as a manga for Akamatsu Ken's work. Um, I don't know, I just really liked it and I almost got all volumes. I think all together is like 31 volumes or something and I got up to 28. So I was so close, so close. Um, yeah, I'm really disappointed that I couldn't get all of them though, but I will get all of them when I move, so. Rest in pepperonis! Ugh. Oh shit, oh god, I, I try to move this huge ass pile, but it just fell over. Okay, hold on. It's so big that you can even see it when it's on the floor. But this, ladies and gentlemen, is my pride and joy. The entire manga collection of blah 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 blah. You guys, uh, you guys have probably seen it on like, uh, what's the volume one? You guys have probably seen it. It was on Cartoon Network for a little while as well, Tsunami, but this, in my opinion, is one of the best comedy manga ever written. And I love it so much that I got all the volumes, all of volume two, and I even got like, some like, like a short stories like volume as well, and like character books and everything. Dude, I was so into blah 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 during primary school, man. So good. Um, I was actually thinking like maybe I should take this full like set uh, to Japan because Collecting this entire set was a pretty big hassle, especially like the last couple of volumes of, uh, the last couple of volumes of season two. Um, those are really hard to find. But, yeah, that's my pride and joy, man. It's, uh, I love Bobo Bobo, man. If you haven't read Bobo Bobo, you have to. Such a good comedy. It's so funny. Like, the anime was good, but there's so much comedy that can't be conveyed. Uh, it's kind of lost in translation as well, but also there's a lot of comedy that d doesn't quite work in anime and but works really really well in manga so rest in pepperonis ball, ball, ball. thanks for the laughs here's another one from the same author of ichigo 100 percent because i really got into this artist when i was in high school uh, it's called anedoki this one only goes for three volumes so if you like your short rom-com series and you like uh, ichigo 100 percent then i recommend it i don't know this artist draws girls so fucking cute look at her my god, I would do things to her. Okay, here's the one where I have no idea why I managed to get all the volumes for, but it's a series called Ayumayu. Um, I don't know, I was really into like these like, just dumb fan service rom-com series for some reason during high school. I mean, I think everyone is during high school to be fair, you know. And, sh and tastes change. I mean, I read back on it and it's still like, it's still enjoyable. It's still lighthearted and dumb, but um, yeah. And it's not exactly the best manga in the world. It's dead, far from it, in fact, but it's still quite enjoyable to read. Um, I actually really like this for some reason. I don't know how I found it. Just I just happened to find it one day at a at a bookstore and uh, decided to get all five volumes of it. So thanks for the thanks for the half boners in high school. Here's another classic Jump magazine series that I've actually got all ten volumes of, and I am really surprised to this day is not an anime. And it's called M Zero. Look at the look at the colors, man. They did that. They designed that. Look how look how pleasant to the eye that looks. But yeah, M Zero, dude. Like, I don't know. I don't know why this isn't an anime yet. Cause I would easily watch an anime of this. Cause this anime, uh, this manga rather, is really it's really cool. I, I liked it. Um, I especially love. I don't know. The art style is very unique. Um, it's very swirly, like very not quite solid or anything. But I don't know. It just looks very. I, I just liked it. I really liked it. Um, yeah, this is great. It's a great series. If you if you want to try something that isn't among an, an anime but should be an anime, I rec I reckon I recommend M Zero. I can't talk because I'm so excited. Back to the horror. I got the four volumes of the another manga because I love another. Yeah, I got the novels. I read the anime. I watched the OVA, and then I decided to get the manga because the art style is so dope. Like, I don't know, it works, this artist, I don't know who she, he or she is, uh, Kiyohara Aya. Her art style is, it fits the series so well, like the whole theming and everything of it, the whole atmospheric thing. Oh man, it works so well. I don't know, if you loved another, if you loved the anime man, like, not the anime man, that's me. If you love the anime dude, or dudette, then uh, I definitely recommend you get the manga, because it's great looking series and I mean like the story of another is it's fucking awesome I love it I love another man here's another one that I never quite started or completed because I just got actually got this from my cousin it's tw uh, volume 12 13 14 and 15 of the attack on Titans yeah look at that derpy fucking Titan right there 
To be fair though, I have read up to volume 15 of the manga. The problem is, I don't know why, but my cousin's just like, just take 12, 13, 14, 15, but don't take 1 to 11. I'm like, okay. So yeah, I got this like really esoteric like numbering of the Attack on Titan manga. I don't know, I don't know why, but it's Attack on Titan and everybody loves Attack on Titan. Whoa, here's an unopened uh, entire box set, box set, entire set of the Dead Man Wonderland manga. Look at that, still in the, still in the package because they just bought it all as a package. How much was it for all together? I'm assuming it's pretty cheap. I can't find a, a price tag on it, but I do remember it being relatively cheap. So yeah, wow man. I haven't even opened this shit yet. This is a collector's item right here. Woo! To be fair though, I have read the manga. I just hadn't owned it previously, but I just really love the manga. So I'm like, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna buy this, I have money. I mean, I didn't at the time because I was in like high school, but I was just like, you know what, I love Dead Man Wonderland too much to care about money, so yeah. Oh yes, another comedy manga that I absolutely love and I have all 10 volumes of, it's Nichijo, My Daily Life. Best. It's the fucking best. Like, my, my favorite comedy manga is a tie between Bobo Bo and Nichijo, man, because... But I mean, I can't like say one is better than the other because they're both just way different styles of comedy, I guess. Although this one is like a lot more like a minimalistic comedy, but the, the anime series was brilliant because it was done by Kyoto Animation. If you guys love your like really like weird comedy, dude, you have to, you have to read. You definitely get all of the, the uh, manga. It's really, really good, so. Here's another classic Shonen Jump manga. Yeah, it's Claymore. I'm sure some of you guys will know Claymore because this is a fucking awesome action, like dark fantasy action series, man. It's so good. And the anime was actually quite good for this as well, so I recommend both of them. I've only got first uh, five volumes, but I think it goes all the way up to like volume fucking truck. I think it goes up to like volume 20 or something. I'm not too sure. You're gonna have to double check on my anime list, but. If you love your dark fantasies, you gotta try a Claymore. Speaking of dark fantasy, or well, I guess not dark fantasy, but just like dark manga, is Doubt. And uh, here's the sequel to it, although I've only got the t first two volumes of it. Judge. Yeah. So I think Judge has like uh, up to six volumes, I believe, and Doubt has four. So I've got all of Doubt. And I've only got the first two volumes of Judge, because Judge is actually quite hard to find in bookstores in Japan. Um, but yeah, dude, Doubt is... I, I've recommended Doubt to a number of people. Uh, I actually, last year in Otakuthon, I actually got a bunch of uh, you guys actually buy the Doubt manga from Otakuthon after I recommended it at the panel that we did. Because this is such a good manga, dude. Oh, it's so good, man. And I really want to read the rest of Judge because, like, I haven't read the rest of Judge yet. I've only got the first two volumes and I don't even want to start reading the first two volumes of Judge because like, I know if I start reading it then I'll be like, oh, I need to know the rest. It's just one of those series, man. So Doubt and Judge. And I think there's a third series as well. Not sure though. Look, look it up on my anime list. It's all on my anime list, so check it out for yourself and tell me what you think of it. Here's another fucking classic comedy manga, Daily Lives of High School Boys. I've only got the first volume of it because I couldn't find the rest of them while I was uh, on that on that trip that I bought this one, so another classic. If you love your Nichijo ball 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 style like comedy, then you got to try out Dead Lives High School Boys. The anime especially is fucking amazing. Still waiting on season two though. Okay, here's another comedy manga series which I really want to see turn into an anime. It's called uh, Taizo Mote King Saga. Uh, this is another Jump Magazine one, which. I've got seven volumes off, but I can't find the last eighth volume. It's so hard to find. It's insane. So many times. I've had these, the one to seven, for so long, and so many times. I've been to like so many uh, bookstores in Japan. I can't find the eighth volume, but I will find it when I move this time around because I'll have all the time in the world to gather you because this shit is hilarious. It's got, it references so many Jump Magazine manga, um, and it's just. I don't know, man. Like, I, I'd love to see this turn into an anime because I think it's just as funny as, like, all the comedy manga that I've shown you today. Um, it's great. It's great. So, I recommend it. Also got the first volume to Assassination Classroom. Uh, although, I didn't read the rest of the manga, like, online and from friends, but this is great. Yeah, <laughs> Okay, here's another one-shot manga that I really want you guys to uh, read if you can find it. It's called Chisana Hiroba. So this is a series, uh, there's only one volume of it, um, and it's a combination of four short stories. And I don't want to spoil it too much, but like, I learned, like, this was a, for me this was a life-changing manga. Just, the themes that they cover are just so deep and so dark. Um, 
and uh, like when I first like picked this up at a bookstore, I was blown away. Like, I read the whole thing, but I still like bought it so that I could show my friends it. And it's just, I don't know, man. It's it's amazing. It's it's really like words fail at how underrated and like life changing this manga was. So please give it a read if you can find it, because it's. So good. We also got a few shoujo mangas that I also got from a friend. This one's called Shiawase no Kanzume, and this one is called Kurimu uh, Karamelu Shokora. My god, if that's like doesn't sound like your generic shoujo manga title, then I don't know what is. Surprisingly, these are both enjoyable. Um, I actually, I actually thoroughly enjoyed these, so uh, yeah. Give, give it a read if you want. I've also got the first five volumes to Inuyasha, but not the original manga series, rather the manga-fied version of the anime. So it's literally just screenshots of the anime, but turned into the manga. Surprisingly, it still works. I have actually read the original Inuyasha, um, but uh, yeah, this this works as well. This, this works very well. In fact, if you're trying to like learn Japanese from the manga, then this is probably a better way to learn it, because you can actually read everything, you know? So yeah, I guess give it a go. Um, I will probably will buy the original uh, Inuyasha manga as well, so. Yeah. Here's another great horror manga that I recommend everyone read, Shiki. I'm sure a lot of people know this one, uh, but it's just as fucking creepy as like another and like Higurashi and like all of those because especially the manga though. This artist, uh, Fujisaki Ryu, I think, no, uh, Ono Fuyumi, her art style, like look at this, like it's so, oh it's so creepy. It's like really really dark, it, there's like a lot of black uh, ink is used to fill in like shadows and all that, it's just, I don't know man, it's, it's, oh, it's such a good manga, it's so creepy, it's so good, I recommend it thoroughly. <laughs> Here's another classic, classic, like, quite an old, uh, Jump Comics, uh, manga called Cyborg G Sanji, Cyborg Grandad G, um, as dumb as it sounds, this manga is actually really, really good. It's weird, man. You think that like a granddad who's a cyborg called G, not my friend G, that's OG. This is cyborg G. It's 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 dumb, but like it's somehow like awesome at the same time. Like I don't know, I don't I don't understand it. It was like at that really like strange like age of uh of jump manga. I mean, look at that. Welcome to Japan. Here's another one done by uh, the Haratetsu artist called Cyber Blue. I've only got the first two volumes of this, but this is like a really cool like cyberpunk. Like think of Fist of the North Star, but cyberpunk. That's Cyber Blue. And coincidentally, it's done by the same artist. So yeah, I just love Haratetsu stuff, man. I like, I was like, after I read uh, Fist of the North Star, which I'll get to because it's in that big pile over there, I just really got into like anything done by Haratetsu. Because uh, that artist, like fucking, like, I don't know. Like, look at that. Like, dude, this guy drew like this every freaking week. What a genius. I love you, Haratetsu. Oh, that's the second box full. Time to get the third one. Looks like three boxes was just enough. Oh yes, here we go. This is, this is another big pile. Oh god, it just fell over. Crap. You guys know the cat mask that my avatar wears, right? Well, this is the manga that it originated from. Black Cat. Now, if you've seen this art style before, then you probably recognize it from another series, which I actually right, have right here, called To Love Ru. It's done by the same artist, Yaoki Kentaro. Although, Yaoki Kentaro only did the art for Toraburu because uh, the person who wrote it is uh, Hase Misaki. While Black Cat, uh, Yaoki Kentaro wrote the story for and did the art style for, and I have all uh, 20 volumes of this amazing manga. I need to gather them up because they fell over. Goo! Yeah! This is such a good manga. I love it. We, oddly enough, I haven't actually seen the anime for it, but I will get to it because this... I love you. And yeah, I've only got, and then yeah, I've only got the first seven volumes of the original Toraburu series, but um, I'm probably gonna buy the rest of Toraburu as well as Toraburu Darkness because I heard Darkness gets... But honestly, if you've never read Black Cat, please do. You'll find the origin story to my cat face mask. So yeah. And last but certainly not least, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the end of my grand The Anime Man manga haul. And to top it off, it is my actual pride and joy. All 27 volumes of Fist of the North Star. 
Hell yeah, boy! This manga is just... Words cannot describe how fucking awesome this manga is. Yeah, it was made in the 80s, but my god is it good. It's inspired so many Jump Magazine and just manga in general. Uh, because it's just... I don't know, man. Like, I guess it's... I think if you're a dude, you would like this more. Um... I don't know, just like the style of it. I'm sure there are girls who love this series as well. I'm not being sexist or anything, but I'm just saying you'll probably enjoy it more if you're a dude because this series is just so fucking manly. Like, oh! After I finished reading this, it made me want to punch a guy out. That's that's all I'm going to say. But yeah, this took me years to get the entire collection of this, especially like the last two volumes because that shit's hard to find, man. But thank you, Hokutona Ken. I'm probably going to... Probably gonna buy all of you when I move as well, so rest in pepperonis. Well, there you go, guys. That was roughly three full boxes worth of manga. Um, yeah, I bought too much. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this manga haul. Again, if you made it to the end, then you the real MVP. I love you. And again, if you'd like to know any of the titles that uh, I showed you guys in this giant haul, uh, I've left the link, not the link, the title to all the manga series that I introduced uh, in the order that they appear so look back and if there's one that you need to find then look through the list and then go and search it and give it a read and tell me what you guys think also out of the series that I did recommend and show you which ones have you read and tell me what you think about each of those series and maybe recommend me some manga that I don't have here of course I have read a lot more manga than I actually do have here um, so Keep that in mind. But like, yeah, if there's a manga that you personally like and would like to recommend to me to read, then uh, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, I'm probably going to do a vlog um, on this second channel uh, just to show you guys like me going to a bookstore, probably with like Shine and Cat and like whoever else. Um, and uh, yeah, just going to buy my manga back and maybe buying some new manga and you know, buying the manga that you guys recommend as well. So look out for that as well. All right, guys, well, um, I'll see you in Japan, I guess.